Abacus AI released one of the most powerful AI agents I've seen so far. It is still in beta and they're even calling it a god tier agent. For one task it takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes because this agent is constantly talking to himself, he's doing deep research on the web and anywhere where you like so he has access to internet to bring you the best possible result. So in this video I'm going to give Deep Agent two different tasks and don't worry you don't have to wait 15 minutes to see the results. I'm going to fast forward it and we'll see how powerful this AI bot really is. I have here one really big prompt. I created that one also with AI because I wanted to make it clear to Deep Agent what we need. So we want a full documentation for an open source project. In this case, it's 8BitCN. So we have here public URL leading to 8BitCN and we have a link to the public GitHub repository. And we made it clear, we want an introduction to a project, getting started, usage, components, contributing guide, architecture, and everything that is needed for a full documentation. Now, we didn't send anything, any details for ABCM project, so he needs to figure out everything himself from the web to read all the components from GitHub about code, about everything, and finally, just to bring us a full documentation that we can just copy and paste to our readme file. And here it is. It was not actually 10 minutes, it was four minutes only, and the results are really impressive. So let's first see how does it look. So it's MDX, like we asked the pageant to create it, and we have table of contents, which is really good. We have introduction, everything fits in, so this is really the 8BCN library we are talking about. Then we have getting started, what we need. This one, I don't even know like for project, but he knows better than me. Then installation, we are doing the installment of ShedCN. This one is in the docs from the project. I know this one, this is uh, really true. And also how to add a button, all the examples, how to configure here, typography. This is really impressive. Then we have the usage. So this is the basic example. He is even giving like this, the code snippets which looks really nice, then form example, component variants, etc. And now here we have all the components separated. So he knows exactly which components are there in the ABCN library, also the layout components. He even made like some kind of separation. I don't have that one on the project. Here, data display, pre-built blocks, and contributing guide. How can you contribute? I mean, this one is really ready to just copy and paste it inside the readme file. I think there is even like a project structure. I don't have this one. This one is really useful to have it for all the contributors there in the readme file. Then technical foundation, registry system. I mean, really impressive. And let's see uh, how this deep agent came to these results. We can see here how he's talking to himself. So. Here is the beginning, researching ABCM projects and saving findings. So he was first searching the ABCM.com, then GitHub, then components, then Twitter. And then this is really impressive. He was cloning entire project on his side. Then he was running, you can see here, finding the types. He was searching for MD files. So he was already reading some documentation from there. Then he was checking all the files in the app directory, components, components UI, components UI 8-bit in blocks. And based on that, he, you can see here, I've successfully created a comprehensive research document about 8-bitCM project. So he was making a research on the 8-bitCM and then based on that, he was actually creating the documentation. So here he had all the research, all the notes and everything. And based on that, he started creating a markdown documentation. And that's it. I can copy paste this one to 8BitCN readme. And now we can build our second project and we'll try something harder. Now we're going to build a website where we have live scores of NBA games together with box scores. Now this one is interesting because it needs to use actual public API to bring all those live scores and 
to do all the rendering and everything of that one to implement real-time updates for live scores using web sockets so let's see if he can actually handle something like this and here it is it needed good 15 minutes to create this and we are viewing here mock data for demonstration purposes we need the real api key we can just inject it into our project and everything is going to work that's logical i don't know why i thought it's going to work just with live data and now here we can see what it created so we have here all the nba games and i'm not sure if this is the real mock data like from previous games but we can click on each game and here we have team stats and we have also the box score from all the nba players then if we go back here to our games we have live games we have finished games then what here upcoming completed we also have light and dark mode which is also really good and let's see how did he actually create this project we can see here that he started his research on the nba apis so he was deciding which api he needs to use so we see here web access web access we can actually go to these uh urls and check what was he ex actually researching on and then here he was running some nba scores website research and then he completed it and he decided he's going to use the python library together with next.js that's really interesting choice because he wants real-time updates so he wants the true real-time data during games with updates every one to three seconds that is really impressive and trust me you would need a lot of time to create an app like this to be real time with real scores then it has extensive documentation okay so to integrate this api with next.js you'll need to create a backend service okay so he's telling this to himself so he's constantly communicating ai is sending prompts to himself and then here alternative options he gave some api basketball ball don't lie api some apis and now he's here checking the features that are needed and implementation steps for next.js for shedcn for everything that was something that i explicitly asked him to use next.js and shedcn and then key components needed so now he started implementing everything he is writing layout global css etc so everything looks good from here and then oh he's using yarn that is interesting choice and he is now diagnosing some fixes so there were some errors i saw that while he was building so he's handling all the errors himself you don't need to ask him to do that and finally he completed the task of implementing nba live scores application he's running again yarn run dev could not verify application accessibility and finally he's again fixing everything so here he had five files to fix and there it is application can be previewed and we have the result here i think this is really impressive especially for something small that you want to create like this i mean this design design is something that we could talk about it's not perfect but we could ask him of course here to update it a little bit but the most important thing is that he understood what we want and that it is actually working i mean this is really nice with the team stats box score he even knows all the players i mean this is really i gotta say really really impressive tell me in the comments what do you think about this deep agent what would you create with it and for more content like this join the mighty horde subscribe